New at 6, now what really happened at the home of prominent businessman Etzel Ford II? Yeah, tonight, 7 Action News has obtained the 4th of July 911 call for help from his wife, who claimed he was abusing her. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl has the story now from Gross Point Farms. Now for the first time, we are hearing in her own words what Cynthia Ford says happened in the couple's upscale home. This is Ethel Ford, and my husband is abusing me. Okay. Cynthia Ford and her husband, automotive heir Etzel Ford II, are at their Lakeshore Drive home when she tells the dispatcher she is being abused. How is he abusing you? Is it physical, or verbally? He's, uh, he's um, stretching my arms, and we clearly had too much to drink. Okay. He's mad at me. And are there any weapons in the house? There are no, yes, we have shotguns in the house. Okay. Are either one of you near a shotgun at this time? No. At that time, the dispatcher informs Mrs. Ford an officer is being sent to their home. Are you both in the main house? He's going he's gonna to see at the board and tell the police that he's a good man. The police report indicates the two were at the kitchen table talking when Edsel Ford II became agitated. That's when Cynthia Ford says she grabbed her phone and began to record his behavior, and he tried to take it away. Is it possible that one of you could leave the room so that you're separated at this time? That probably won't be necessary. Okay, he has my cell phone. He's very very so it's really him wrestling my arms to get my cell phone. All right, all right. Okay. All we need to do is convince him to give me my phone. Everything is actually okay. For a variety of reasons, including a lack of evidence, Etzel Ford II was not charged in the domestic dispute incident. In Gross Point Farms, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News. Time now for a look at the